I was just watching Twitch's audition. Get up off of that thing. Boom. Uh, <laughs> and it was funny. And it was full of life. And it was just joy. And you're laughing with Nigel and Mary Murphy. I I can't believe we're having this conversation. I, I really uh, can't either. When you heard, what happened? Well, I'm working. Uh, I have my national dance championship here in Las Vegas right now. And I saw an urgent message from one of my girlfriends. And I just, um, she said, she just kept saying to me over and over again, she said, I can't believe, I, I don't want to be the one to tell you. I don't want to be the one to tell you. And I said, for God's sakes, I said, would you please just tell me? And she said, Twitch is dead. And I said, I just fell to the ground. I went behind the dress vendor and I just curled up in a ball and started bawling. And a dancer came around the corner and picked me up and just hugged me. And I just went to my room and um, she said, I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you, you know, she's one of my close friends. She has met Twitch never in a million years. I mean, I just got done watching Twitch, I think a couple days ago in front of his Christmas tree, doing another little dance jam that he does, you know, for all of us. So you think you can dance family. And he's been around the show for a long time now that, uh, you know, well, of course, we're just absolutely flabbergasted and in shock. All my experience with him has never been much, nothing more than joy, laughter, kidding around, hugs. Do you replay conversations in your head now looking back going, was there like an instance where he took things too hard or he went into a, into a ball because he was, you know, he couldn't express something or he was frustrated or anything like remining everything for a clue of some kind that he wasn't okay. Uh, yeah, of course you go back through conversations or anything. And I can honestly tell you not one time, not one inkling there was, you know, he was absolutely so joyous to be where he was at on So You Think You Can Dance. And of course, you know, we were so proud of him when he got the job on Ellen. And one of the biggest other moments outside of his, you know, the dance that he did on the final day in Las Vegas, where that was a defining moment in his dance career, was when he did that dance to a classical piece of music where that he showed every kind of instrument that was in that symphony. He made it run through his body. We had an immediate standing ovation. We knew we yeah. had. Because he tried for, he tried the first year. He, right. you, you, you're not ready. Go he back the first second year. year. He second came year back the third going. time. That's right. And most dancers, they quit after the second time that have been to our yeah. show, but not Twitch. And so that's why he led to be one of the biggest, most inspirational dancers on our show because of him coming back time and time again, never giving up. And from there on, he just went, he just that's, soared after that. That's the tragic irony. The guy who never gave up, gave up. It doesn't make sense. It'll never make sense to me. I don't. You know, mental illness is such a issue in this country and around the world. And I think especially for men, I could be wrong, but I think that they have to feel like they have to be so strong all the time. You know, they're a father. We've got to represent. And if anything's bugging them, they just bottle it and bottle it and bottle it up. Um, it needs to be talked about. And hopefully... Um, there's nothing good about this, but if anything good comes out of it, is that the conversation is continuing to be open about this subject and about suicide because it, it's devastating for those that are left behind. Like I said, moments ago, I was watching him dance to get up off of that thing. I'm, you're laughing and Nigel's laughing. When you think of Twitch or a, a specific performance or moment, what pops into your mind? I think the one that uh, will also make me laugh every single time and make me smile when I remember him is when Alex Wong hurt his Achilles tendon and Ellen stepped in at the finale and came out on that door and, uh, you know, started doing that hip hop number. And it was a really good hip hop number that uh, Twitch and Alex Wong were practicing. And the fact that Ellen did a really good job and the two of them must have bonded and gone through so much doing that probably in a short period of time. 
um, is one of the best memories I think I'll ever have of Twitch and is to see him and Ellen do that dance. I will never forget it. Um, he is somebody that, uh, you know, I take and feel proud about like a proud mama watching him grow and it's so tragic <laughs> be on Ellen and come back to us and judge. Um, he's one of a kind, you know, I know he was a good father and a good husband and he loved his family dearly.